Hey, what's up YouTube? It's ICU. I hope you all are having a fantastic day. Let me try to make it a little bit better because today we're talking about news that dropped over the weekend pertaining to a brand new iOS 13.4.1 exploit affecting the latest A13 powered devices and presumably everything below. So a new exploit that could potentially be rolled into a jailbreak for the latest devices, and it doesn't even stop there. This is an untethered exploit. So we'll get into exactly what that means, but first I want you guys to really temper your excitement because although this is something that is super important in the realm of jailbreaking, we have no guidance from the security researcher who dropped this information as to whether or not he's going to release his exploit. Of course, if and when details unfold around that, I will let you guys know. Also, before we get into it, I really want to recommend checking out my new jailbreak status checker page. It's the very first link down below in the description. Essentially, it will just let you know the status of the next jailbreak utility, the one after Uncover for iOS 13.4. So if you visit it right now, it will say no in red, indicating that a new jailbreak after that has not been released. When it's green, that will denote that the jailbreak is available. It doesn't matter whether we're talking about iOS 13.4.1, 13.4, 13.3.1, whatever the firmware that the next jailbreak will target is, that will be listed here. So again, I highly recommend checking out that link. Now let's go ahead and get straight into this because I wanna keep this video really as short as possible. So over the weekend, Protease tweeted out, quote, this is a TFP0 bug and exploit which affecting iOS 13.4.1 on A13. Now that tweet is accompanied by a screenshot right here, which seemingly shows that the TFP0 patch has been applied and it has some additional kernel information such as the kernel slide kernel version and so on which does confirm that this is an A13 device on iOS 13.4.1. Now before we get any further I really want to stress do not update to iOS 13.4.1 guys I could not be any more clear on this for a few reasons. First and foremost we just don't know if this is going to be released. If it is we don't know how long it's going to take to be rolled into a jailbreak Again, there are so many unknowns right now at this point. This is just something that's very exciting. It is newsworthy. It's very important and pertinent in the world of jailbreaking, and therefore I'm sharing it with you guys here, but we don't know whether or not it's going to be released right now. Secondly, iOS 13.4 actually closes a kernel vulnerability that exists in 13.3.1. So if you're on that firmware, your chances of being able to jailbreak are exponentially higher than on iOS 13.4 or even 13.4.1 in this case. So I recommend just staying as low as you possibly can. And obviously if you're on iOS 13.3, you are golden. Do not update because you will lose your ability to jailbreak right now unless you want to use CheckRain and you have an older device device that is powered by an A11 CPU or below. But that's why I recommend not updating to iOS 13.4.1. There are just too many unknowns. And furthermore, once we do know additional information as to whether a new jailbreak is coming, there is typically a window when you can update to the firmware that jailbreak developers are targeting. They do that intentionally to, again, allow you to update to that firmware if and when that happens. So stay where you're at for now. I'll let you guys know if and when anything changes. Now, Protease followed this up by tweeting out, quote, this is a persistent bug and exploit which affecting iOS 13.4.1 on A13. And he essentially quoted a tweet that he pushed out earlier in January, which seems to be a hash. So this is fantastic news. Like I said, it doesn't stop at just an exploit affecting the latest firmwares and devices. It also is untethered. We know this because he says that it's a persistence bug. And that essentially means that the patch, the kernel patch, will be persistent through reboots. And this is confirmed or rather reaffirmed by hacker Jake James, who essentially said in response to someone who is asking what that meant, quote, untethered, but he said nothing about a release. So, and that's the end of the tweet. Now, like I said, and like Jake James just said and backed me up, essentially we don't know when this is going to be released, if it even is going to be released. We have no additional information from the security researcher. All we do know is that he is a known security researcher and this exploit does exist on the latest devices, latest firmware. 
Maybe we'll see this vulnerability that is exploited patched in iOS 13.4.5 or some other release and potentially it could be retroactively applied to iOS 13.4.1 and rolled into a jailbreak at that point. But like I said, too many unknown factors. I feel like a broken record at this point. Just stay tuned. I'll keep you guys updated. And speaking of updating, avoid updating to iOS 13.4.1 for now. I cannot stress that enough, guys. And yeah, the world of jailbreaking just gets a little bit brighter every day. And until next time, this is ICU signing out.